everyone, my name is Carla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, I had to retake the intro because I accidentally delayed that the first intro that I made. Congrats to me. Good thing it's just the intro, not like the whole thing. In today's video, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something on my phone. Yes, on my phone. Probably most of you who have watched my older videos, not old actually, but my first ever videos, I did a cute cut tutorial, five cute cut transitions tutorial, which is linked down in the description box or in the bell icon up here somewhere. And I showed you guys some transitions of cute cut, which Probably you must know that I am a KitKat editor. Yes, that was my first ever editing app that I was attracted to. Well, that was my first ever editing app that was connected to me. I didn't know any other editing apps like Video Star. My phone is not iPhone, so it doesn't have Video Star. But recently, uh, I saw many edits in Instagram using a light motion and some of my friends use a light motion so I'm going to try it out today. I haven't watched any tutorials or anything so this is my first ever try of editing in a light motion. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing is to go to a light motion. Let's just go into this button right here at the bottom i think that's the create new project thingy then the square one the resolution yeah frame rate background create project okay so where is the add button here no okay here oh that's okay that's the layers oh this one right in the bottom here image and video i'm going to pick okay wait <laughs> yes this one if you know them, they are from Piper Squad. They are Semily. Well, their ship name. It's Sawyer and Emily. Let's just pick this picture. So, okay, there is. Oop, what's. Okay, no. Okay. And effects. Probably effects is the first thing. Add effects. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. What's this? Drawing. Color. Oh. First thing you should do, there are probably some like the tiles, you need to mirror it first, where is it usually? Um, I'm guessing it tiles. Let's do mirror, mirror. Here at the bottom, mirror. And then it should be mirrored, yeah, it should be mirrored. Okay, so we already mirrored the picture. Now let's add another picture. Let's cut it first. Where is it? Let's go into here. This is probably the up button right here. Probably like the cut one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Let's add another picture. Let's pick out. Yes, this one. This picture. Let's cut it all. And let's also cut it. Then let's do the tiles again. Mirror. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the mirroring. What should we do now? There is move and transform. What does this do? Okay, this moves the stuff. Okay. This rotates. Yeah, okay. Rotating. This is zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Then, what's this? Um, okay. <laughs> That's something new. Let's go back to zero. Let's do the zoom in and zoom out first. Okay, so we need to add a keyframe. Um, this one, the diamond thingy probably. That's a keyframe. And then zoom in, zoom in. Now we need to add a graph. Okay, this is a lot harder from KitKat. KitKat is so simple. They give like the presets of the graph, but this one you have to make it your own. So well, from what I expect from KitKat, you go like this, like it's around like that. 
So it's like poop. Okay. Then the second picture, we're going to do the zoom and the yeah the zoom out. Going to add a keyframe on the start and on the end. There. Okay, so we are going to zoom out this one time. Okay, and then add the graph, which is supposed to be like this. That's, yeah, oh, wait, oh, <laughs> wait, wrong keyframe. Wrong keyframe. <laughs> yes, okay. Two, okay, that's good. Now let's add another picture. Let's make this bigger first. Let's add this one. We need to, yep, okay. This one, what are we going to do here? What else? What add an effect? There's pinch and bold, move and transform, offset. Offset? What's offset? <laughs> What's offset? What is offset? What is offset? Let's just try do something with this. Let's go here. We need to add a graph. The graph. At uh, this time. Okay. So, is that good? Okay. Well, let's add the offs this time. Move here, more here. Wait, no? Okay. That must be good. And then let's add the tile effect again. Mirror. Then add the offset here too. Offset. We'll mark the points here. Okay. And then we'll go that way this time. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And the graph. The graph. Important. The graph. Whoop. Okay, that's better. That's better. <laughs> that's definitely better. Then... Let me add... What else? A lot of these are locked. Um, what do you have in here? Squeeze. There's a swirl. I can do a swirl. So let's add a keyframe here and here. Do the strength. Oops. And then let's add the tiles and mirror it. Strength. How much is the strength? Now let me copy. Can I copy it? Swirl. Oops. Strength. Can I copy this? How about this? Copy effect. Okay, I can copy the effect. Go to this one. Oh. <laughs> copy the effect. Oh, wow, how can I do this? Paste. Okay, okay. Now we need to move this. It's so hard. It's so much harder than you can. But how, how can you drag this? And then... You need to be on the picture, huh? Like that. Okay, that's it. Well, that's the basic, I think. Um, not bad. Oh, wait, the tiles? How come? Okay. Okay, whatever, I cannot fix that. But that's basically it. Or, or is it the swirl like the other way? Let me check, wait. Okay, well, let's see the final result. Well, this is definitely harder than CuteCut. I must practice with this app to get used to it but that's basically it okay so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy seeing me struggle a bit with this new app called alive motion i'll probably practice a few more times and get used to this app but this is a lot harder but it has more effects on the and transitions so i'll probably use this and retire from cutcut i've been using it a lot so yeah that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe
like this video and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss for my further videos. Goodbye! Missing someone. Missing someone.